You're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with, and it couldn't be more true for music producers as well. I mean, just think if your friend group consisted of Martin Garrix, Rick Rubin, Metro Boomin, Dead Mouse, and Skrillex. Those are just the guys that I can name off the top of my head. Imagine if you all pushed each other every single day to, of course, make music, but also be more creative and push through resistance and stuff like that. It would get to the point that you're all feeding off each other's ideas, techniques, mindsets, even connections. And think about how much faster you'd succeed compared to you if you were alone on your journey. And the thing is, most producers don't have that group. I did a poll on my community post recently, and the results came in and said that around 60% of producers don't have friends that are into music production like them, which to be honest with you, that made me feel sad because I know exactly how that feels. But here's the thing, that group of people will accelerate everything. I mean, look at my channel. We've grown it pretty decently fast. It's not the most viral YouTube growth you've ever seen in the world, but we have over 10K subscribers in about five months. You wanna know how I did that? It's because I have friends who have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And so my goal with this video, it's so that you can form a group of people that are dedicated to music and that will accelerate your growth to an insane level. But first of all, I'm gonna give you some context. I know exactly how it feels to be the weird guy in the friend group who makes music on his computer. Anytime I would have friends over and I would open FL Studio, they'd be like, oh, he's on the Carrot app again. So this led me to believe that there was just no other producers out there. Like maybe you'd see them on YouTube and stuff, but other than that, I wasn't going to meet any. But luckily within the past eight years, I found a ton of producers and even tons of producers in real life. And the number one thing that I'd tell myself is to just stop thinking that producers don't exist or that you can't find them in real life. To be honest with you, that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. And this is coming from someone who used to think that. If you have that belief that you can't find other producers, then you're not gonna find them. If you remove this belief, even if there truly isn't any producers around you, you're gonna have a better chance at finding them anyway. So what do you have to lose? First of all, we're gonna start online. We have to meet people, right? We have to get ourselves out there. I got a comment recently on one of the polls I did by my friend Yoku. And I mean, he just said that it's just about talking to people and that's completely true. But you might be like, well, what does this mean to me? This literally means to just DM people like every week. Like just DM a new producer every single week and see what you can do. And in my experience, Instagram is the best. I've just found it's way more high quality than Discord. I hate Discord, which is probably the reason why I'm only in like three servers. And I'm 100% sure that you can find really dope producers on Discord as well. But in my experience, Instagram has just been more high quality. Just think about how powerful your network could get if you just DM one producer every single week and grow a relationship with them. And then chances are one of those people is gonna have a connection to someone who has a connection to someone else, which might be a huge opportunity for your career. Just talk to people in real life as well. I actually just remembered a story where me and my family went to Hawaii in about 2019. So I think I was around 13 years old and we were in this cafe and I saw a dude on a table making music in Ableton. And I was only a few years into production at the time. So I was like, okay, I'll go talk to this dude. So I was a little bit nervous because I mean, I was only 13 and I went up to him and I was like, you use Ableton? And he took his headphones off and he was like, yeah, and from there we had like a good 10 minute conversation. He showed me some of his music and we even exchanged sound clouds. Just because I saw another producer in real life, I went up to him and said a few words and tried to be as genuine as I could. All of that just from getting out of your comfort zone and just talking to people in real life. And so let's say you made a connection, you met someone, you DM someone and you start talking about music production and your goals and stuff like that. You want to obviously cultivate those relationships. So just messaging them, giving them value, all that stuff. Now imagine this, from there you have a few producers that you've messaged or you've met in real life. Once you kind of know them pretty well, just invite them to a group that all five of you are in, for example, where you get feedback, you keep each other accountable and all that stuff. And the reason this is so much better than some stupid random Discord server is because it's way higher quality and you can probably trust the people because you know them and it's not some random dude on Discord. And now that you have this group, just think about how much faster your progress will be. If you're all working together with ideas and feedback and keeping each other accountable, just think about how fast your everything is going to be. And the thing is, it's not even that hard to start one of these. You can start messaging people today. What's holding you back? Of course, there are other online communities like school communities, for example. I have one below if you want to, you can go check it out. And you might be like, okay, cool. But you mainly just spoke about meeting people online. 
and you're right, I did. And so here's some ways that you can find other producers in real life, which is absolutely possible. And number one is just to go to a music production school or a music school in general. This is the number one thing that I would recommend to everyone. It doesn't even have to be college, just a general music school or a music production school if you have those. I remember when me and my family first moved to where we live now, I was getting more and more into music production. I started making money off of it, and this is around 2020 to 2021. I ended up finding a music production like school, basically, and these guys were legit as well. They made the same music as I did. Like I remember walking into the school, and there was a guy sitting at the front desk, and he was playing an Elenium set up on like the, there was a stage with a, what's it called? projector my mind was just blown honestly i was like people actually listen to this and are into this there are actually people like me i invested my own money into this school i was around 14 or 15 and honestly life-changing the number one thing that like increased my skills and everything else because obviously i learned lessons but at the same time there's a community that i had i remember the second week i walked in there i saw the three main instructors at the front desk all producing on their laptops and i was just like this is crazy there's actually other people that produce music. So anyway, find a music school near you. Even if it's not specifically music production, chances are you're gonna find people that are into the same things as you. Even if they're not specifically into the genre that you make or whatever, it can still be a great connection. Another thing is just to go to events. Now, I'm 18. I literally just turned 18 a couple months ago. So obviously in the past couple years, I couldn't go to many events. But for example, at that music production school I spoke about, they basically have like a networking night where producers and music industry people could go and just network and talk to each other. I think I went like once or twice. I probably should have gone more, but I was only like 15 and I couldn't even drive myself. But I remember meeting a ton of other musicians there. So like I said, I can't really speak on this too much, but if you have events around you that are obviously music events, why not go to them? And once again, to form that group, it's the same thing. Once you meet a few people that you really vibe with, what if you like invite them all every week to your studio or something like that, where they all bring their laptops and you make music and all that. Just think about how cool that would be to have that group that all have the same goals and aspirations and you just pushing each other more and more to achieve those things and supporting each other and stuff like that. Anyway, I know this video was a little bit less structured and it was just kind of me rambling and stuff, but this is kind of a special one to me because it's something I'm pretty passionate about. It's something that I needed when I first started. And I was very fortunate to find that a few years into my music production journey. So pretty early on. And like, seriously, I want the same for you because this is something I wish I knew when I first started. Now that you know all this, there are two paths that you can take. One where you continue the journey alone, and I'm sure it's 100% possible to build a career just by yourself. But there's a second path that you can take where you cultivate these relationships, where you find these people. And once you find this group, think about how much that's going to accelerate your journey and their journey as well. It's a win-win. What's stopping you? Resistance? Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it, like seriously freaking love you so if you want to please subscribe it would help me a ton it would help me retire my parents check the link in the description as well make music now and you'll thank yourself later peace